Well, that was unpleasant. That jerk Jorgen got my suit all dirty. I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Or take a piece of his! Mmm, jerk Jorgen. That does sound tasty. We, suffering serpent and the rainbow, Max, we've turned to zombies! Why are we standing like this, Sam? Oh, I thought you knew. Zombie Abraham Lincoln? What are you doing here? I... I don't know. This doesn't look like the theater. Something different about you. Hmm. You're not wearing your hat! And he's got a body, and he's not 20 feet tall, and he's just come out of a grave. This isn't our Lincoln, little buddy. Do I know you? We're Sam and Max, freelance police. Never heard of you. You know us, Abe. Emergency elections, thrilling car chases, adventures on the moon, Easter Island. Ruining your reputation, hitting you with a missile, making you throw up, pointing and laughing when your girlfriend dumped you. Ridiculous, all of it. Wait, is this one of those hidden zoetrope programs? How did you end up in Germany? Germany? I've never been. Apart from my family's cemetery plot just outside Stuttgart, I have absolutely no ties to Germany whatsoever. Abe, we've got a friend we'd like you to meet. She'd be perfect for you. You're a lot like her ex-boyfriend, and I've suspected for years that she's a necrophiliac. It's kismet. I'll hear no more of this. I'm a happily married... I'm a contentedly... Be I'm a married man. How are you enjoying the play? Oh, it's ripping. But I was disappointed that Booth fellow wasn't in it. I hear he's quite the actor, and I was hoping to see him. Thank you, Zombie Abraham Lincoln, for helping us teach kids more about irony! You might not be able to catch the rest of that play, Mr. Lincoln. Wanna know how it ends? No, no, don't tell me. Spoilers. You get shot and turn into one of the Walking Dead. Well, that sounds horrible. I don't know why I let Mary keep dragging me to these things. Watch your back. What? Why? What happened? Where are we? Jorgen tried to kill us. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Mr. President, I can't understand you. Never learned to speak, zombie. Would have been useful, in retrospect. <laughs> No, sir. The zombie factory does not have free wireless internet access. That depends, sir. In terms of geographic area or population density. About 11.25, sir. We're open till 3 a.m. Yes, sir. It is warm for this time of year. I don't agree, sir. The advantages of a common currency like the euro outweigh any nationalist concerns. Yes, sir. That's very funny. I hadn't heard that one before. <laughs> Good night, sir. What's going on here? Oh, you're the Americans, right? Thanks for the brain, guy. Hey, Max. We can understand the zombies now. Mm, it was as good as my Nana's homemade Kimmelsplaner schnitzen. I think understand is a bit extreme, Sam. Jorgen put us in some big machine and then we ended up here. Oh, yeah, guy. You're totally dead now, okay? But we're the freelance police. We can't die. I know, hey. None of us can. It's extremely excellent. How do we get back to normal? We're not cut out to be zombies. Yet another of my life's ambitions, down the crapper. Yeah, I can tell. You shamba like you've still got your souls. What do you mean, we act like we've got soul? No offense, guy. Lots of zombie kids thinks it's cool to act like alive these days. We call them zombies, but it's cool, hey? How do we get our souls back? Don't know. They say Jürgen does something with them, but I've never been in the VIP lounge. We've got to overthrow Jorgen and get our souls back. Overthrow the hey what? No way, boy! The zombie factory's where it's at, friend. 
Don't you want revenge on Jorgen for turning you into a zombie? Oh, I was already a zombie, silly guy. My company makes experimental new drugs until something goes horribly awry. Drugs to create a race of super soldiers? Male enhancement. Well, if it's all the same to you, pal, we're still taking down Jorgen. Oh, okay. Save me the wishbone, eh? You enjoyed the brain we gave you? Oh, yeah. It was delicious. He must have been really smart. Sorry we don't have any more brains to give you. No problem, eh? The gang went down to the village to get some more. From now on, we only eat them from high-up gargoyles, like American style. So long. Catching you later on the flip side, zombie brother. Are zombies allowed to drive cars? I don't see why not. My license is just as expired now as it was when we were alive. Of course not. I just wanted to see if you were paying attention. Where was I sitting? Good night, sir. There's a bottle of holy water in here. Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic, clove, cigarettes. Not allowed. Holy water. Taboo. I can't condone drinking. Especially this stuff. Excuse me. Eat bullets, chumps! Hey! Ow! Yow! I guess you have to be a zombie to appreciate how good Flint is at killing him. The man's a consummate professional. Alright, which one of you undead creeps is gonna tell me where you got Sam and Max? Ah, uh, no! Not you guys, too! Hate to do this, fellas. But Sam and Max always said they'd rather die than become one of those... things. I don't remember ever saying that. Did you, Max? Nah, I'm pretty sure he was making that part up. Hey, Flint, can you help us out here? Zombies! Good job with the zombies, Flint. Back off, creeps! Better not. Oh, great. They're back. Keep quiet and stand still. Maybe they won't notice us. Hey, look, Max. It's vaguely ethereal versions of ourselves. Are they ghosts? No, probably just those soul things we keep hearing about. Well, what do you know? I do have one! Come to Papa! Yeah, I don't think so. Right. You guys run along and play. We'll be over here until our ride comes. Okay, fun's fun, but get back in here. I'm already tired of being a zombie. Well, perhaps you should have thought of that before you treated me so abominably. Maybe now we'll get the appreciation we deserve. What's your beef against us? He never paid attention to me. And you're not much better. We'll force you back in if we have to. You can't make us do anything. 
come on, guys. We need our souls. It's no fun being the way I am when it's expected of me. Good riddance. Get your own souls. Jurgen must be sleeping off his humiliation at the zombie club. Let's chop off his head, then set him on fire, then go for ice cream. We can't hurt him while we're still zombies, Max. Then let's put his hand in warm water. <laughs> Here we have a vampire in his natural habitat. Alchemy for beginners. Jorgen made it up to chapter 14, turning chocolate to gold. Oh, but build me a machine that turns gold nuggets to chicken nuggets and we shall have power unlimited! Looks like a painting of Jorgen in the club when he was younger. Looks like a trophy case from all the vampire hunters who've tried to defeat Jorgen. How do you like your steak, Max? Pointy! Looks like a delicate piece of high-precision medical equipment. Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Brooding is more fun when you do it with a pal. These diagrams are so scientific, I couldn't possibly make sense of them. Ann Coulter, a life. The Dorian Gray photo album. Blood types from A to Z. Ann Coulter, a life. Oh, nuts. The batteries are dead. Bringing life to this decaying lump of flesh, we mock death! We become as gods, rewriting the very laws of the universe! Mm. It lives! Our creation lives! Happy birthday! He's almost a birthday. Ole. Well, kind of suck the horror right out of it, huh? Hi, gruesome. You're not Master Jurgen. Who are you? A mob of angry villagers. Are you here to destroy me? It's nothing personal, but we've got to look out for our property values. We're just kidding. We're your creators. Master Jurgen is my creator. Well, we pulled the switch. Yes, and I wish you hadn't. The sleep of unlife was preferable to the bitter pang of loneliness. Hey, monster, what's the Italian word for an appetizer? Auntie Pofto. Hey, Monster, what do you call a ham and cheese sandwich that's been breaded and deep fried? Monte Cristo. Hey, Monster. Wait, let me do one. What California coast city is home to Cal Poly University? Hmm. Coalinga? 
What's your job around here? Do you kill stuff, or are you mostly decorative? Master Jurgen created me to prove his ultimate victory over life and death. Never thinking that he'd have to feed you and walk you every day. Typical. You don't like Jurgen, do you? Well, he did give me life, and tried to help me feel complete. With self-help books and weekend retreats? Yes, but mostly by experimenting with the items on the operating table. Your pal Jorgen turned us into zombies. What gives? I don't know the details. Uh, something about stealing souls and creating a zombie army. Why not an army of you monster guys instead? I'm a conscientious objector. Why so glum, chum? Do you have any idea what it's like being a misshapen freak? The only one of your kind? Nope! Uh-uh. It sucks. No one to confide in. No one to love. Mm, no one to smack you and tell you to get over yourself already? What's so bad about being a monster? Master Jurgen only built one. I am alone. You've got us! Please kill me. You're in luck, buddy. We've got the perfect bride for you. Master Jurgen promised the same thing long ago. But ours is ready to go, right out of the box! No assembly required! Sounds... intriguing. Let's go introduce you to our friend Sybil. I can't go like this! What woman could be attracted to someone as incomplete as I am? Yeah, trust us, Sybil's used to guys who aren't all there. All the same, I must be fully assembled before I go. And I thought you took forever to get ready, Sam. Let's go introduce you to our friend Sybil. I can't go like this. What woman could be attracted to someone as incomplete as I am? Yeah, trust us. Sybil's used to guys. All the Yeah. Farewell. Wanna play Dr. Max? For the last time, Sam, no! Oh, with the monster. Oh, sure. I can't wait to see him floss with that. I can't wait to see him floss with that. I can't wait to see him floss with that. Yes, that's much better. I'd operate at a much greater efficiency if you'd install Linux. I don't expect you to understand the reasons why, of course, Shut up. Yes, sir. Can we hurry this up, guys? I've got a dozen foreclosures to get caught up on today, and that's just the orphanages. Listen, brothers. Can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? Oh no! I've overslept! I'm late! I'm late! Listen, brothers. Can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? Hiya, Gruesome. Let's go meet our friend Sybil. It's a frightfully long drive, isn't it? Are you sure you want to go now? Yes, let's go right now. Quickly, before Sam gets distracted and... Oh, more switches! Well, I never travel without my belongings. Just throw them in the trunk already. We're wasting daylight. Thanks for coming, gentlemen. I know it's difficult for you to travel, having to carry all your stuff with you. I'm used to it. Well, until I figure out how the Soul Mater works, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll ask each of you three lucky bachelors a series of questions. Based on your answers, I'll decide which one of you advances to the final round of being my boyfriend. Ah, zombies! I knew it! They've come for the knickknacks! Harry, please. I'll have to ask you to leave if you don't learn to show some tolerance. They're going to break everything! And eat my brain! Nonsense! Sam and Max have just as much right to be here as anyone alive. Hmm, which question should I ask first? 
I still can't decide. Which question should I ask? I can't understand you, my good man. Diction, diction. What are they doing? Make them stop. I know, Sam. I'll use it once I've narrowed it down to one finalist. Oh, good call, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. The only thing I liked about my last boyfriend was that he had a way with words. He always just knew the right thing to say. What would you say to me in a romantic moment? I would say, let me optimize your inner loop so that we can focus on debugging. <laughs> and Bachelor number two? I would quote from my award-winning one-act play, The Cloaca Monologues, to wit. Oh, no, that's quite all right. Bachelor number three, same question. What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Hmm. Most romantic thing to say. Keep your hands away from that, you filthy, disgusting creature! What? I expected better from you, Harry. But I wasn't talking about you! The, the, the zombies! Your anti-zombie talk isn't making things any better. I think you'd better go. Thank you for filling in on such short notice, Agent Superball, was it? My pleasure. You're looking radiant. Thank you, sir. I'm quite nervous. Intel did not suggest you would be as beautiful as a solid core walnut door with twin deadbolts. <laughs> you raunchy dog! Sweet. Don't leave without me. I get home thick. Relax. If we go back to Stuttgart, we'll give you a ride. But you have to wait in the trunk. Come back here, you stupid hand. Shoot! Hey, Bonk, you just can't come into our office and take what doesn't belong to you? Oh, that is like the black pot calling names at the kettle, which is also black. It's different when we do it. We're professionals! only help someone help concern it he's too fast Don't just groan and point. Do something! It's Jesse James's reanimated shooting hand. Surly, even in death.
You saved me, Zombie Sam and Zombie Max, my heroes. Tweren't nothing, ma'am. What? <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, great. Zombies. As if my day couldn't get any worse. Fine. Eat my brain. See if I care. It's all pointless now, anyway. Don't complain to me you can't eat marble. In my day, zombies would have shown some initiative. Oh, just leave me alone. I'll take that, Mr. James. Look away, Max. This is the kind of vandalism that turns your stomach. Nonsense! I embrace all kinds of vandalism! Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart! <laughs> <laughs> 